Hey everyone, my name is Emma and I'm 16 years old. The goat's eating my phone. Today I'm going to be sharing my carnivore story, hoping that it may change your life how it changed my life. Andy, come on. So first off, I'm going to start talking about acne. I know there's a lot of teenagers out there who struggle with acne. I know I did even before I was a teenager. I've struggled with acne my whole entire life. No, no, look who's eating my phone again. In middle school, I would always pound on foundation on my face because I was so insecure about my acne. No one my age had acne. And I am a triplet and my two sisters have always had flawless, clear skin. And I've always been the one struggling with acne. It always had made me so insecure. I have tried countless skincare, so many different types of skincare. Nothing has ever worked. It's only ever made it worse or dried out my skin worse. And I'm telling you, two weeks on a carnivore, my skin started clearing up. I, it was so insane. I was like, oh my goodness. And then just a, like a month on carnivore, all of my acne was completely gone. I remember before it was way worse and I never would take pictures or anything. So those are from videos that I took a screenshot on. I would never take any pictures because I was just so insecure about it. So the second thing I'm going to be talking about is anxiety. I know a few people my age who really, really struggle with anxiety and they felt that they couldn't leave the house and they struggled talking to people. So I'm going to talk about my experience. So when it was the pandemic and I didn't leave the house at all, I didn't socialize at all with anyone but my family. So then when it was time to leave and the pandemic was over, I got a job. <laughs> I got a job and it was just so terrifying and it was so hard to socialize. Ever since COVID-19 and it was during the quarantine, I didn't socialize at all. So then when quarantine was over, my anxiety, I just had so much anxiety and I was so afraid to go places. I remember I was even like afraid to go into Walmart and my heart would be beating from Walmart. And then it came back to the time where I had to go back to school and I was just so afraid and my heart was beating out of my chest. And um, recently I fell off carnivore and I, the worst ever anxiety just hit me so hard. I was working at the theater and I was like terrified to go in, but I had to work. So then I worked because I was trying to face, I was trying to do normal things so that my anxiety would go away because when I started to socialize more, it, I noticed it started to go away. But it was just so hard for me. I remember I was talking to a customer and I felt like I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't even talk. Um, and it was just so awful. Then it got to a point where I didn't even want to leave the house and I didn't leave the house. And so on carnivore, it's made me feel so much confident and it took away my anxiety. I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't fear things anymore. I guess I just don't care. I just feel my best self. Like I can go to Walmart, I can go anywhere, I can talk to people and I just don't get afraid when I'm on carnivore, um, if that makes sense. And eventually my sleep started getting absolutely awful. My body was so physically exhausted and I couldn't fall asleep. I was sitting there and I just couldn't fall asleep and I was trying to fall asleep and it was just so scary. Um, I would look, check my phone and time and time just went by and I couldn't fall asleep and I got the worst sleep. So that made me become moody. There was a whole lot of bunch of stuff going on that just made me sad and really took a toll on me. And so the third thing I'm gonna be talking about is depression because I know there's a lot of teenagers or people who struggle with it. I know a lot of people personally who are my age and really struggle with it and have awful thoughts and it was just so terrible. So eventually my sleep just got awful, my mood got awful and I started to become very sad because there's a lot going on. Um, so then I started having these awful, awful thoughts where I didn't wanna be in the world anymore. And then it got to a really bad point, but then I decided that I was going to do carnivore again. I told myself it's going to get better, it's going to get better, and right into carnivore, it started getting so much better. When I fell off the wagon to carnivore, my acne had all came back, like, just like that, just so right away. And then um, my anxiety all came back when I quit carnivore, I started to become depressed. So then my point is on carnivore, my acne all cleared up, my anxiety went away completely, and my depression went away. And I just want to share this to teenagers or even anyone who's struggling because I know there's a bunch of kids out there who are struggling with self-image and stuff, but carnivore has changed it all for me. I felt so much confident in my body. So yeah, if you're struggling with acne, give carnivore a go. If you're struggling with anxiety or depression, um, do carnivore. You can do it for 30 days. You can set a goal. Some people are like, that's crazy, but why not? You have nothing to lose. Just test it out. Try carnivore for 30 days. Do it. Do not cheat. You have to make sure you're getting enough fat. If you do not get enough fat, you're going to start craving sugar. That's where I always mistake. People are like, ew, fat's so gross. 
your body will start craving it once you eat so much of it. What my dad always told me is that the fat gets rid of your acne. So I would have Kerrygold butter and I'd cut it up and I'd just eat it. And what's crazy is I hated butter my whole entire life. Before I was vegan when I was younger, my aunt would always make us sandwiches. I hated butter on popcorn. I hated it on um, sandwiches. I absolutely hate butter. And now I love butter. I love it. I just cut it up and I eat it for the extra fat intake. And so, yeah, how, what my dad would say is he would say, eat this, eat a scoop of this, and it'll get rid of your acne. And it got rid of my acne, but yeah. I still do, like you could see, I still do have some acne and I still have breakouts and acne scars, but my skin's healing and it's only going to get better from here out. So I really want to inspire teenagers and teach the way about carnivore. I'm going to be posting so many more videos, but, um, so now you may be wondering what is carnivore. I can't do carnivore. I need to have sugar. I need to have my energy drinks. I need to have my Starbucks. I need to have my snacks. No, no, you don't. I swear. And, um. I think I know what I'm talking about. This I've been on and off carnivore so many times and on it. I've just felt thriving. I watched my dad thrive too. He was overweight, very unhealthy. He had depression. He would take so much medicine. He would always be tired. And right onto carnivore, he stopped snoring. Um, he stopped taking all of his medicine. He just become like a much better person and was so energetic. And now he's helping so many people. So I really want to help others. So, and I'm sorry, I, I'm told in all of my videos that I talk so fast. I'm trying to slow down. I do see that. So carnivore is where you only eat animal-based products. Some people eat cheese. I have been eating cheese. But carnivore is where you only eat beef, butter, eggs, and salt. And sometimes cheese, depending on if you can. And take it or if it doesn't stall you out or anything. Like my dad can't have cheese. It just doesn't make him feel good or he stalls out. So anyway, you can't have sugar. You can't have fruit. You can't have vegetables. A lot of people are like... That's so unhealthy, you need to have fruit and vegetables, but fruit and vegetables have been modified since the beginning of time. And most fruit now is just like a piece of candy, like an orange is just so sugary. So fruit is just so processed. And then the fruit and vegetables all have pesticides poured onto them and everyone just says, just rinse them off for like the bugs and stuff. But the pesticides are still on the fruit. And not only can it harm your body, but it's killing millions of animals. Millions of animals die an awful, horrible death from pesticide poisoning from these crops for your fruits and vegetables when I can eat one good, humane cow that I know lived a great, loving, humane life. I only eat meat where I know where it came from and that it lived a great, loving, humane life. But if someone offers me food or something, I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'm going to eat it. But I mostly try to only eat food where I know it came from and lived a great, loving, humane life. Our beautiful chickens... Our beautiful chickens provide us eggs. They're all free range. They get to run around. And I love seeing them. I love coming outside and I love just sitting with the chickens <laughs> and the goats. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope I inspired you to try out carnivore. You can do it. You can do anything for 30 days. You got this. I believe in you. I'm going to be posting more videos soon to hopefully inspire others. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best.